Welcome back to Building Together, everyone. My name is Colin, and today we're talking about Lego price increases. So in this video, I'm going to go over the Lego group statement about the price increases. We're going to walk through some of the sets and the themes and the prices that are going up and whether or not some of these sets are going to be worth it at the higher price interval. Finally, I'm going to walk you through a little bit of statistical analysis that I conducted on this. Nothing super crazy, but unpack what maybe it means and perhaps what it doesn't mean. So first up, LEGO released a statement in June, early June, noting that they were going to be increasing prices for some sets beginning in September, August or September. Now note that the statement says these price increases probably are due to the challenges of increased raw material and operating costs. They also say that the price increase will differ depending on the set and it will affect about one quarter of their set portfolio. So this means that 75% of sets are going to stay at the same price. Initially, a lot of questions came out about which sets this would include, which themes would it affect, uh, and maybe even which sets we're going to see increases maybe more than others, right? Every set is not going to be uniformly increased in uh, you know, nominal dollars or even as steady percent. Now, at the same time that this statement came out, there was a leak about retail prices in Europe. But today, we got information about price increases here in the United States. So let's check out some of these themes and some of the sets that are included. So one of the themes that is listed is one that is near and dear to our heart here at Building Together, and that is Harry Potter. Now we've built quite a few sets, we've purchased quite a few sets, done speed builds and reviews, you can check those out, but check out what we see with the price increases. The massive Hogwarts Castle came out in 2018. That's going up significantly from $400, it's already expensive, to $470, a 17.5% increase. Now, is this set worth it at the new price point? I'm not sure. We had a ton of fun building this set. We got it for Christmas in 2018. It took us a couple days as a family to go through building it. The kids loved some of the building techniques. They loved, of course, playing with the micro figs and really enacting the entirety of that Harry Potter world, at least at the Hogwarts side of things. And at $400 and a family gift, I thought it was definitely worth it. But at $470, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be skeptical. I'm not sure that it's really worth it. Another one that I don't think is worth it is the Hogwarts icon set. Now this is the large, buildable, poseable uh, Hedwig. It comes with Harry Potter's glasses, some Felix Felicis potion, um, a, a um, book, and, and scarf. It looks great, but at $250 for me, it was already borderline as to whether or not it was worth it. Raising the price 20% to $300, not worth it. Now, what I think is interesting is that some of the less expensive sets in the Harry Potter theme are also going up. The Chamber of Secrets, that was the flagship set for the last year's June releases, that's going up 15% to $150. And one of my favorite sets of the entire theme, in fact, one of the favorite sets that I've built over the last year and a half of having this channel is the Hogsmeade Village, going up from $80 to $90. Now, this is the one set I would say might be worth it at the increased price point. 90 bucks, still a good set, still a great selection of minifigs and pieces. This is one out of this list that we see here for Harry Potter, I would say worth it. One that is absolutely not worth it, in my opinion, Hogwarts Magical Trunk. We did a speed, we've done a speed build, we've done a review, and we were honestly skeptical of the set's value at 60 bucks, moving it up to 65, not worth it. So the price increases here for Harry Potter sets doesn't look good for some of these sets, and I think puts them above that point of being worth it in terms of play value and what you're getting for the price. 
The next theme is icons. This is the old creator expert line. This is the 18 plus sets, and these are going to be typically large sets or detailed, more complex building techniques. So which ones are we seeing a huge increase? First and foremost, the Friends Apartments. I was intrigued by the Friends Apartments when it came out last year. Now the kids didn't like it, they weren't interested in it, they haven't seen the show, maybe that's why, but that price going up from $150 to $180, I was already a little bit on the fence. Uh, speaking as a somebody who's gonna be buying Lego, the family's gonna be using, we're gonna be interacting with, that one, not so much, and a 20% increase is, is pretty tough to stomach. Likewise, the Flower Bouquet. This is one of the least expensive sets of the icons, and these flower sets have proven to be really popular. It's hard to keep them in stock in some of the Lego stores, this one, as opposed to maybe some others. Now, this is not an exhaustive list, but I'm curious if this one's going up, are other ones going up as well? This one's going up 20%. Another one that I want to mention is the Boutique Hotel. I love modulars. We have the Boutique Hotel. Love this set. Fits in really nicely with the other modulars. And we've already seen a relatively recent price increase in the modular line up to that $200 threshold. This set now going for $230. What I think also is interesting is that other modulars that are currently still available, the bookshop, for instance, uh, I know Assembly Square is kind of limit, uh, you know, being retired soon, but the police station, these sets aren't listed here. And at $230, I think the boutique hotel is still worth it, but it makes it tougher to swallow that price. I think the modulars are a great line and between that $180 and $200 threshold represents a great value for what you're getting in terms of pieces, minifigs, building techniques, and overall building experience. But if all of them are gonna start going up to 230 bucks, that's, that's a tough hit. Next, ideas. Lego idea sets, I think, represent some of the best sets every single year. There are so many iconic sets that have come out, and some of them are on this list. Check it out, the Home Alone set. We did a speed build, we did a review, we loved this set going from $250 to $300, a 20% price increase. Now, if that's bad, check out what happens to both the typewriter and the treehouse going up from $200 to $250, a 25% increase. The average increase among these idea sets, almost 20%. The Medieval Blacksmith, a set that I gave a 10 out of 10 for my rating, doing a review, going up 20% from $150 to $180. This is a set that I think might be worth it at $180, but is a steal at $150. If you're on the fence about whether or not to get the Medieval Blacksmith Shop before it retires, and, and I don't know when it's going to retire, but if you're on the fence with this one, get it now. You definitely don't want to wait for it to go up to $180 in a month or two. Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm going to be honest, this is a set, $70, I think it was a pretty good price point for it, it was on the upper limit of what made it worth it, a lot of one by one plates, a lot of cool features to the set, and of course Sonic is an iconic figure, but at 80 bucks, I'd be a hard pass, even though this one's only, only going up 14% compared to the average 19.9% in this category. Finally, I'll mention the Fender Stratocaster, I love Fender guitars, I play a Fender guitar, um, I have my Strat, I love it, but at $99.99, $100, bucks, it was kind of worth it, but but not, you know, given the priority of other sets that I was going to get around that time, didn't make the check, or didn't make the list. At $120, bucks, I think it's definitely off of my list for future purchases. Next up, we've got LEGO Star Wars. Now, there are a lot of opinions about LEGO Star Wars. And personally, I am not a, a collector of the theme. I like a lot of sets. I like Star Wars. But I've mentioned other times at this channel that if I were going to dive into the Star Wars sets, I might actually have to start buying a lot of them. And I, you know, between budgeting and resources and then time and doing reviews and focusing on the sets that we really like, this hasn't quite made it up there. But I want to note a couple of things. 
If you thought that LEGO Star Wars was going to see a huge price increase because of it's just it's LEGO Star Wars, um, you've got the typical markup for a licensed set, a little bit of a surprise here. The average increase across these sets, 13.2%. Now, to be fair, some of them are going up from an already super high price point to an even higher price point, like the AT-AT going from 800 to 850 bucks. It's only, only a 6.3% increase, but it's already a really expensive set. But the Republic Gunship, again, I, this is one that I don't think was worth it at 350 Definitely not worth it at $400. Same thing with R2-D2, a 20% increase there. That's the highest increase we see among the Star Wars sets. Definitely questionable. But one that I think might still be worth it, the Millennium Falcon. Not the massive one that's 800 bucks, but the one that came out in 2019, $160 going up to 170 bucks. It's only about a 6% increase. I still think it's worth it. Same with the AT-AT. If, th if you like Star Wars, you want to get an AT-AT, I'd go with this one that came out a few years ago, 160 bucks going to $170. I still think at that price point, it's worth it. I also think it's interesting when you look at some of the sets that made the list here, some of the diorama sets, like the Dagobah diorama, the trench run, those are going up in price. Some of the more recent helmets, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, The Mandalorian, also going up. So, some recent sets going up. I'm gonna. Superheroes, this is one that I think is interesting because there are some really good sets on this list. I think the Tumblr is a really cool set, um, maintains a long line of really incredibly built tumblers, going up 17% from 230 to 270. The Guardianship, I think this is a great set. I don't have it. It's one of those that caught my eyes, possibly on my list of sets to buy. Going from 150 to 160, I still think that one could be worth it. What I think really is interesting about the superheroes though, the Goat Boat. That's right. This one came out in 2022. It's a recent release at 50 bucks. I think it's a great value for what you get. At $60, it still might be worth it, but that 20% increase, if you're looking at get, getting the Goat Boat, get it soon before the price goes up. Our last theme we're gonna check out is Technic. Now, I'm not a huge Technic fan. I had a couple Technic sets growing up as a kid, but a lot of these sets are tailored to adults, especially some of those cars and the large vehicles. And we see many of them going up in price here. Now, the average for Technic, 13.1% increase among the sets listed here. Um, ranges from a low of 7.1% increase for the uh, transformation vehicle, but a high of the Lamborghini, 18.4% for that one. And honestly, at that one, 380 was the original price, bumping up to 450, honestly. I, I, I didn't think it was worth it at 380, although I could see an argument for it, but at 450 bucks, I think that's a really tough price to swallow. So I've heard a couple of theories, maybe hypotheses, loose hypotheses floated about some of these sets. One of them I've heard is, look, you know, Star Wars is always really expensive and therefore they're going to increase those prices because of the license set. I've heard also that some of the uh, sets that were released earlier might be more affected by these price increases. Sets with more minifigs could see a higher increase than those without minifigs. There are a lot of sets here like the Technic sets that don't have a lot of minifigs. So what I did, I ran a regression. Now basically what this allows us to do is take a look at what we are interested in. In this case, I'm interested in both the percent change and the real change in dollars. And I'm wondering what about these sets could be explaining the difference in increase. The list of sets that we have available at this point doesn't run through every single theme and it may not represent every set. As I mentioned at the beginning, 75% of LEGO sets are not seeing an increase in price, 25% are. So I'm guessing there's gonna be more added to this list or more that are gonna see an increase than just what's here. So what actually seems to matter statistically? Well, honestly, not a whole lot. It seems to be the one thing that definitely jumps out, the ideas theme. 
if a set is part of the ideas theme on this list, it's going up 5% more than the comparator group, which is Technic. There's some evidence that minifigs actually, the more minifigs you have, the less of a price increase you'll see, which I think is kind of interesting. Minifigs are kind of a big part of the cost of a Lego set. The more minifigs you put in, I mean, just look at the collectible minifigs and how much those cost now. And those have gone up considerably over the, uh, in price over the years. So maybe minifigs would lead to a higher price increase? Not quite. In fact, if anything, it's a decreased increase, if that makes sense, right? It's not going up by as much as other sets. So what does this mean? For a Lego fan, especially those that are adults, first and foremost, if you are interested in getting that set, get it in the month of July. There's going to be double points coming up uh, this week, July 12th and 13th. There's going to be a uh, Harry Potter um, gift with purchase the second half of this month. So if you want to get one of those Harry Potter sets, go out, get them now before the prices go up and take advantage of the last month and the giveaways that they're happening. All right. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for listening. I, I love nerding out and I like talking a little bit about what's going on with Lego. Comment down below. If you think I'm way off on some of these sets and whether they're going to be worth it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. In the meantime, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications. We'll be doing some analysis stuff over the next couple of weeks, months, as LEGO continues to unveil sets and make big announcements regarding pricing and other things. And keep building together.